Welcome everyone, Questine here with a discussion about World of Warcraft Classic Fresh Season of Mastery Beta and about Blizzard's intentions with regards to raiding. It feels like with Classic Fresh that Blizzard is making one incremental change after another change, trying to get people excited and honestly that excitement hasn't really been there. I mean, there are some people who really like what they're doing with raiding, be it the removal of world buffs, doubling the HP of bosses, all that kind of stuff, but pretty much everyone that I talk to is is of the view that what they're doing is just not enough, that they need to do more. Well, this is what they're doing here. They are doing more, quite a bit more. I'd say this is a fairly substantial change what they're, a change in terms of their attitude with regards to Classic, what they're implementing here or what they're gonna be implementing here on the beta. And just keep in mind that there's still a lot of room for them to go even further, which maybe they honestly should go even further. Because, yeah, doubling the HP, removing world buffs, all that, that's going to have a major impact, but that doesn't necessarily make the encounters very ex uh, exciting. And this is something that Blizzard seems to realize uh, from their forum, from KVAX Community Manager. Thank, uh, thank you to everyone who hopped on the Season of Mastery beta last week and helped us test our first adjustments to Molten Core in Anixia. Going into Season of Mastery, our philosophy was to take a light touch when it came to changes to raid bosses and mechanics. If doubling the HP of bosses is a light touch. I want to see what the major change actually is from their perspective. Anyway, and focus instead on restoring versions of raid bosses that exist in the game at one point or another during the course of original World of Warcraft. As we were peeling back the layers of data from early versions of the game, it became obvious quickly that the list of actual changes to most content Molten Core and Nixia was extremely short. Anixia had the conflict disorient effect on her fireball attack during the air phase, Golemak had an earthquake ability, and Ragnaros did a fire splash more frequently with a weekly timer to limit the number of attempts a group can make. Now, Anixia having a disorient on her fireball, Golemak having an earthquake, and uh, Rag having a fire splash more frequently, these were things that private servers pretty certain had. I mean, I remember the earthquake ability on private servers on Golemak. Uh, the weekly timer on Ragnaros, I do think that there was a timer that, in terms of how uh, how long Ragnaros would stay up, I, I believe that was the case, but I'm not entirely certain. But hey, this is what Blizzard is saying that these were <laughs> these were the kind of changes that they ch uh, that they uh, or, or the kind of things that they changed in uh, in later patches in Classic. So they're restoring that, but it's not enough. Some of these mechanics are more impactful than others, but overall we suspected, quite correctly I believe, that the total impact of the changes will likely not be meaningfully felt by players in 2021 who have an enormous amount of experience in these raids. And they would be right. I mean, we've seen what we can get with, say, Karazhan or with TBC. I mean, there are some changes, there's some impact, but overall, you know, Karazhan just was boring mess. Anyway, regardless, we were determined to start small and see how it felt first. So they were aware of this, but they wanted to see what the original, original, uh, the initial reaction was. So for the, the first round of beta ray testing, we would blanket 100% health buff and a handful of restore mechanics. As we watched beta testers in game and listened to the reactions to our changes of restoration, and confirmed what we already thought going into this test. Merely raising mob health and restoring a few removed mechanics was not hitting the mark we wanted for a season focused on faster progression and more challenging content. As a result, with the next upcoming beta build, we're making some significant adjustments to almost every encounter in Molten Core and Nixia's Lair. To be clear, we don't intend these or any future changes we make to Season of Mastery raid encounters to increase the difficulty of the content to a point where experienced prepared raid groups will have to wipe for days or weeks to progress on it. We also don't intend to change the fight so much that they become completely unrecognizable or fundamentally different from their classic versions. Our intent is to provide something subtle and fresh to go along with Season of Mastery that feels very much in keeping with the spirit of the original encounters. Okay, that that's great. And we'll let you know when we're ready to update the Season Mastery beta. And we're going to open raid testing again on Thursday at 2 p.m. PDT. And we love it if you could join us and check us what, we, what we've been working on. Okay, so they're going to make some fairly substantial changes, though probably not as much as what they're going to be doing with regards to... Uh, 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 probably not as much as say what the private server would do like private servers some private servers have gone completely crazy with some of the changes they've made not necessarily vanilla ones but uh, certainly some raf ones that i've played on uh, they've gone completely crazy with some of the changes that they've made to bosses not just hp but mechanics and it can be pretty insane um, but the 
the consequence of that, by the way, the consequence of going that far is that all that rate stacking that we've seen and people have come to hate, it just makes it mandatory almost to even beat the encounter, to have a realistic chance to beat the encounter. I certainly hope Blizzard doesn't go in that direction, that they keep it in a reasonable perspective because making something hard, it's all well and good, but how you make it difficult and what the end result of it uh, how uh, w what it requires from a, a guild or a raid uh, to beat the encounter that matters a great deal as well so they're making things more difficult but they're not making it uh, unreasonably so i mean the way things are right now with the double hp just to make that point is you do have a great deal of variety in terms of real rate setup. You're not necessarily going to just want to stack warriors. You're going to want mages. You're going to want warlocks. You're going to want hunters. You're going to want rogues. Yeah, my eternal crusade against the rogues has come to an end with uh, with classic fresh. But point is, you do want raid variety, and maybe with some of these new mechanics, you're, that's going to increase. I think that would that should be something that Blizzard concerns themselves when it comes to designing these um, these raid encounters or making the changes to these raid encounters. How do I feel overall about this? Well, I'm excited. I, I think that. Um, that what they're doing with raiding is one positive step after another positive step. I think they're moving in the right direction. Honestly, for me personally, it would have been enough if they just had double the HP. Maybe I'm just the kind of guy who enjoys Molten Core that much. I wouldn't have minded if the mechanics had stayed the same. But obviously plenty of people do want different mechanics on top or mechanical changes to these bosses or new, uh, new additions to these bosses. They want that in... Um, uh, in uh, classic fresh th rather than just double HP and removal of world buffs they want more than that and that's great we'll see how all of it uh, shapes up I do I am a bit skeptical let's call it let's call it that I am still a bit skeptical when it comes to all of it and honestly my skepticism with classic fresh really comes down to other issues you know the economy issues the leveling issues the gold selling issues all that kind of stuff I feel they're really focusing on rating and trying to improve that. And that's great. Don't get me wrong. That's all well and great. But here's the thing. Improving rating, do that. Keep working on that. You're in the right direction, Blizzard. You're doing the right things. You're doing what needs to be done. Uh, you're taking, uh, you, you're, you're moving in the right direction. You're, you're doing the necessary steps. But I don't want to see Blizzard ignoring other aspects of the game and not only focusing on raid changes. Because guess what? Raiding doesn't exist in a vacuum. It exists in a situation where you have a PvP system, you have PvP rewards, you have the econo economy which is impacted by bots and gold sellers. You have all of those issues. And those issues, it seems that Blizzard is ignoring, at least for the time being, in terms of the changes that they're implementing in beta. We'll see if that continues to be the case. I mean, I'm certainly hoping um, hoping that things are going to be different overall with regards to, to Classic Fresh. And I am curious to see what, what these raid encounters are going to be like. Are we going to get them on Thursday? Mm, I don't know, really. Um, or are we going to get them at a later date? Like some people, the way some people took this statement, this post is like, oh, we're going to get the new changes on Thursday. I'm not necessarily, I, I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case when it comes uh, to it. I think we might have to wait a bit uh, to see them implemented. There are also people who are like, well, you know what, Blizzard, implement whatever changes you want to implement, but don't let us test test them don't uh, make it so that we're doing progression on the beta that's not necessarily fun that's not great i mean that's something that does take away from the rating experience that we used to have because it used to be that we didn't get to do every single boss or if any of the bosses really on a beta or on a ptr long before uh, they came out alive it they used to be very different nowadays it feels like we're doing everything if not most things maybe you know we're not doing mythic or some of us aren't doing Mythic, or many of us aren't doing Mythic. Uh, but it does feel like we're doing most of the content on PTR or on Beta. And the solution is like, oh, just don't do it. That's not really a valid solution. If you're in a good guild, if you're in a good guild, if you're striving, striving to actually achieve something, then... Um, uh, then you are going to be doing at least some measure of PTR. So I do certainly agree with peop with the people to a degree that would just want to see this, you know, coming out in the live versions. Would would just want to see the changes 
not being tested on the beta, not having the raid encounters being uh, um, done to death on the beta, and then you know the live version comes out, and what's fresh and exciting with that? On the flip side, of course, you do have a lot of people who aren't too excited to do classic, and they want to have a reason to play it. They want to be given a reason by Blizzard. Anyway, that's all there is to say on the subject. Questine here signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications. Join my Discord, link in the description. Or if you do uh, want to support my channel, uh, consider helping me via PayPal, Patreon, or YouTube channel membership, uh, membership whatever you choose. It's very much uh, welcome.